I have lots of animals around me now. I do have a snake who's crawling around my neck, and we also have a parrot or macaw. It says the macaw. So lots of animals, and it is drizzling outside a little bit here. We can zoom in a little bit more. It looks like Russellville Road. That's where we are seeing some heavy downpours. Cave Mill Road, where we see those purples, that's the torrential rain. So just be mindful as you are traveling, especially around Bowling Green. Now, rapid intensification is defined as 35 miles per hour in 24 hours. This hurricane hurricane has doubled that, so it did 70 miles per hour increased wind speed in 24 hours. Yeah, it's, it's packing snow. We could make a little snowman, make a little snowballs, have a little snowball fight or something. We had a whole discussion throughout this commercial break, and I officially dispute Tasia's claim that it's chilly out there this morning. He says he felt chilly, but when I show you the temperatures, I'll prove my points to you as well, and then you guys can decide and let us know who wins this dispute. Now I got to go back to what you just said a second ago. You do like pineapple. I didn't, I didn't know we were working with that here. You do like pineapple on your pizza? Yeah, every time I get pizza, I always have pineapple on it. The greens and the reds, when they intertwine like this, that's a likely signature of having a brief spin-up tornado. Monster storm that's really churning and eating up those warm waters that's down in the Gulf of Mexico. We can see a clearly defined eye. But half of an inch of ice is a pretty good layer of ice, so it's going to be like you're skating outside if you're walking or if you're driving. Our dog walkers forecast dog of the day is Cherie, and Cherie says that it's only fitting that there's rain to end 2020. So maybe just skip that walk this morning and stay indoors. You should be able to go for a drier walk later on this evening. So Saturn and Jupiter are going to be getting really close together in our night sky. Look to the southwest sky starting about 5.30 p.m. and you'll be able to see it for a couple of hours. Now for for the Derby, hold on, we have to get Derby ready here. Now we're Derby ready. When I took my dog Nikita outside this morning, I even had to hold an umbrella over her, which usually she's not too bad in the rain, but it's a lot of heavy rain out there. I'm turning into a reindeer today for Christmas. I didn't help Santa pull his sleigh though. It was a little bit too cold out there for me. And it's still freezing cold outside this morning. Where we did see Sally tracking, that's where they are nice and clear from the smoke. And that's because when rain does fall, it does attract some of those smaller particles in the air. So in this case, those smoke particles, and it kind of washes it out of the atmosphere. So if you do have any asthma or any other respiratory issues, you might want to be taking more precautions as that dust moves over us. Because I did say, if anybody sent me photos with a different animal on a leash, I would use it. And sure enough, we do have a cute little calf that is our dog walkers forecast dog or cow of the day, I guess we should say. <laughs> Welcome back to Soaky Sunrise. It is now 6.08 a.m. And we did last night have a viewer send in a picture of Kentucky Stonehenge, which I actually didn't even know that we had a Stonehenge in Kentucky. So I'm very excited that we do actually have one. Beautiful pictures with it being snow covered. This is in Munfordville, so a cool site to check out sometime. I definitely have now added it onto my Kentucky bucket list of places to see. But again, beautiful sights as we did see that snow cover out there throughout yesterday. Yesterday, still a lot of snow cover out there for today, but we are seeing the main roads that are clear. Neighborhood roads are a little bit iffy and back roads as if you did see any clearing or melting, that's now refrozen. So just be careful as you are traveling anywhere for today. Still give yourself a few extra minutes to make it to your destinations on time and safely. A live look outside, beautiful sight. I'm so happy to see the sun once again. It's been a long time since we've seen a lot of sunshine and we will be continuing to see a lot of sunshine for the next few few days at least. So that's some good news. Although it is very cold, temperatures 13 degrees at the Bowling Green Airport. At least we have a very light wind, so it's not feeling much colder than 13 degrees, but 13 degrees is frigid outside. Make sure that you grab a lot of layers. Temperatures across the rest of South Central Kentucky are sitting right around those lower teens. Woodbury coming in at 5 degrees, extremely cold there, and areas off to our northwest sitting in those low single digits. Everybody across the U.S. is pretty much sitting in an ice box. Every Everybody's very cold except for Florida. Florida, Miami, 77 degrees. So if you like the warmth, you'll have to go way down south to Miami, Florida. Uh, again, everybody else in the United States, freezing cold except for Florida. 
<laughs> Florida, I guess, is just a very special place. But we are going to be staying dry for today. We'll continue to stay dry, and we will be seeing that sunshine peeking through a few more clouds. We'll have just a few passing clouds for the day today. Still staying very cold. Temperatures not getting above freezing, so only the sunshine will help melt a little bit of that snow. But I am expecting a lot more melting to happen throughout this weekend, and we should be seeing clear grounds, no snow cover at all after we get through this weekend. So lots of sunshine for the day on Saturday as a high pressure system is moving through a southerly wind flow. So we do warm up to temperatures above freezing for tomorrow and even into the lower 50s as we get into Sunday as a system is approaching us. That system will be bringing us scattered rain showers throughout the overnight hours on Sunday. Should be mostly dry for the day on Monday. Maybe a couple of lingering snow flurries in the morning hours, but nothing to be concerned about in terms of accumulation. We're going to be able to remain dry as we head into your Tuesday of next week as well and seeing a warming trend continuing for us. Today, very cold, high temperatures, 29 degrees, but at least we will be seeing some sunshine outside. As we get into tonight, still seeing some passing clouds and overnight lows once again drop down into the low teens. Very frigid conditions for us. Your Hughes and Coleman 7 day forecast, a little bit warmer for tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 30s. We will be seeing lots of sunshine helping to melt that snow, and that snow will be completely gone by Sunday as temperatures reach into the lower 50s. A round of scattered rain showers throughout Sunday night and then we will be dry as we head into a good portion of next week even hitting about 60 degrees for the middle of next week but another system towards the end of the week could be bringing us some mixed precipitation.